Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Tech Dev Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on a Surface Laptop 4. Uh, we're going to be going through the, uh, the disassembly of the device as well as how you would uh, replace your battery, screen, uh, storage, anything else inside. So let's get into it. So you're going to start on the bottom here. See, see there's no screws visible, but there are these four rubber nubs. You do have to have to get these off of there. And now we can start to unscrew. So you'll see they're not a uh, standard screw. They are one of these um, hex screws. Let's just find the right size. And now you can take off this bottom case. You will have to actually go into this uh, sort of crack that you see in the frame. Here. You will have to actually go in there and start to pry them. We're just going to go in with the pry tool and separate them. So now that you have it unscrewed, you're just going to flip it over back here, open it up, come in with the pry tool under this little lip here. There's a little bit of separation, but you just want to get in there with the pry tool. And this keyboard should start to pop right up. There we are. And it just starts to separate. And there, it's actually separated. There is just one last thing to disconnect right here. This is the keyboard cable. So that's the keyboard disconnected. Just put that to the side for now. And get to work on the interior here. All right, so now that we have it open, we can just start to uncover it. Motherboard. They have a couple bits of adhesive on there as well as these uh, metal covers. So these you just want to get under and they will bend off. We can start to remove this here. And disconnect the SSD here. The um, frame. It's easy to just take right out. And then, uh, so you'll see this is the battery cable here. It actually goes under the motherboard. So in order to do a battery repair on this device, you do actually have to disassemble the whole thing. Now that this is all disconnected, we can lift it up. It will be attached uh, to the to the frame, uh, just with some adhesive here as well as to the motherboard. As you lift it up, it will start to disconnect. You can just get under it and just pull that off. And you can then disconnect right there. That's your heat sink. And now we can continue on. Alright, so now that we have the uh, 
heat sink off, we can start to detach the screen. So you're gonna wanna start this with this uh, black bar that goes across here. Start unscrewing all the little screws on there. And once you have this actually up, you can open it a bit more. You'll see these cables in here. And now that you have them exposed, you can go and lift this other cover off. There we go. And now these can be disconnected, these connectors. connected you can pull this away there we go and finally you just have to unscrew the hinges here and now you can lift it out of the frame. There's one side and now the other. But now the screen is fully detached, disconnected. Uh, if you were doing a screen replacement, now is when you'd stop, get your new screen assembly and do the whole process in reverse. So now we can continue on. First, just gonna start by getting rid of this the cover. And now we can pull off these other covers that are left. These are just like the other two, just different shapes. Let's go in, get under it, and get it up. this one I've been disconnected and one more there we are you can just put it off to the side and here we go so we got a few more things on here um, we can disconnect here. This is uh, where power comes in. This is the speaker right here. Here's another speaker. Um, but now we can start to unscrew the motherboard. And one more of these covers right here.
fall off there. And now we can actually lift up the motherboard and get it out of the frame here. So that's the motherboard disconnected and that also just disconnects the battery. It is just held into place onto the motherboard um, just while it's screwed in. Um, just by these pins here in this pad. And now it's actually disconnected. So if you were to, uh, if you were trying to just uh, replace your battery, now you'd stop and take out the battery, which we're gonna do right now. So the battery is held in um, with some adhesive, so you do have to come under it with a uh, pry tool. Um, and if you are looking for any uh, parts uh, or, uh, or tools that you've seen this repair, uh, check out the links below. Uh, if you're interested in any uh, mail-in repair or data recovery service, also check us out at techdep.com. We do it all every day. Now we're starting to get this battery lifted. So that's your battery. Now this is sort of towards the end of the uh, whole tear down, but if you if you were doing a battery repair, now you'd stop, get your new battery in, put it in here, and get everything back on. It is unfortunate that on these on these surfaces it is under the motherboard, but that's how they put them together. So now we can just continue on with the disassembly. Speaker out now comes from right up off this post. There we are. And now you got the second speaker out. And there's a couple more things. You got charger connector right here. There you are. So that's the cover for this power connector. And now will just come right out. Now it is magnetic, so some of the screws you just did, uh, disconnect may stick to it, uh, but you can just pull them right off. So that's your power connector, and here you've got the audio jack. Just one screw in there. Comes right out. We'll pull right out of the frame. There you are. So that is the last piece of the uh, disassembly on this on this uh, Surface Laptop 4. There you are. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments down below. And uh, with the help of the community, we will we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail and repairs.